Hey, how's it going, everyone? Kane Undertaker here. Welcome back to Let's Play Vera Blank. Um, I'm a little bit confused. I think we're just doing some investigations at the moment. Um, hang on. How do I check my clues? I think we're just investigating at the moment. It's been a couple weeks since I played it. Like I've seen in previous videos, I was sick. So we're just picking up from here. Um, yeah, if I remember, we're on the train. Bomb. The two people were working for this guy who wants to kill the detective. And yeah, and that's about it. Oh, and we were in a hotel, motel for the night, and a werewolf come and attacked us. And we're just trying to figure it out. So what do we do now? Oops. So yeah. All the stuff there. Right. Nope. Close. <coughs> we need to keep looking for clues. Let's get some intel and look out for suspicious activity. Police? You enter the police station. There aren't many policemen around. Eventually, a police officer attends you. Man. You need something. I'm Detective Mackie. We're looking for Lucas Werner. He's not here. Anyhow, we're starting our investigation. Do you have any pertinent info? Pertinent info. Forensics is still analysing the clues they found in the hotel last night. Ask about Tobias Brimmin. What can you tell us about the werewolf's first victim? He was a well-known politician, a member of the Green Party. Did he have any enemies? Was there anything suspicious about his death? As far as we know, he was never the target of a malicious threats. Furthermore, there have been no reports of people wishing ill on him. The only strange thing about his death were those bite marks. Rumour has it they were inflicted by a werewolf. Yes, we know that part. It was all over the news. Then there's nothing else to add. Dick. How long does it usually take for the scientists to examine the clues, I mean? As much time as needed. An illuminating reply. Listen, we don't like strangers putting their noses in our business. If we're up to me, we're sorry. We understand that you need time to do your job. We'll be going now. Brandon gives you a warning look. May I let you to play along, you exit the police station. Let's read his mind. I. Um. Oh. oh no. E. Oh D. I. Don't. Oops. Don't. No. I don't know. Was there? Oh. I don't know why. Why they? Oh, that's so much of a clue. I don't know why they. I don't know why they asked those two to come. They look like newbie detectives. Come, Brandon. We will solve this case without their help. What? Don't mind her, officer. Have a good day. As you leave the police station, Brandon lectures you on the importance of cooperation. We need, all, we need all the allies we can get. We won't get very far without the police backing us. If he could hear what I heard, I'm sure he would be offended too. Thank you, we'll be going now. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've been there. Oh, see, it's blanked out so that knows we've been there. A cathedral. A big cathedral sits in the middle of town. The cathedral is very big and cold. As you enter, you're struck by its majestic beauty. Fancy that. No one's here. No point staying here any longer than we need to. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, public gardens. This spacious green garden is located in the middle of town. Oh, listen to all the birdies. For a town this size, the public gardens are quite spacious and filled with various flora. You peer into the sky above you, mesmerised by the endless expanse of blue. Beside you, beside you I mean, sorry, 
Brandon ticks off the number of visitors on his hand. There aren't many people around. I guess the werewolf story spooked them. It's ironic how peaceful this place is. Someone was killed. Yet this garden is so full of life. The birds are singing, the skies are clear. It's bizarre, alright? The gardens are divided by a stream and connected by various wooden paths. Not too far away is a playground. Eh, look around. You search every nook and cranny, but the few people you meet pass by without a word. Examine the playground. You search the place but find nothing of interest. Let's follow the wooden path. Oh, hello! You follow the wooden path. Within several minutes, you happen you happen upon a young man with a broken leg. Look, Brandon! Now that's a sight for sore eyes. I think we need to ask him a few questions. Hey you! I'm Special Detective Brandon Mackey. What's your name? What are you doing here? Me? I just walking home. I just walking home. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. That kind of threw me off guard. Where were you last night? I was playing video games at home. Oh, I just remembered. It hurt its ankle, didn't it? So he's a suspect. How did you get injured? While well, playing soccer about three months ago. Ask around. Everyone knows me. I was promising a youth... What? I was promising a youth player in the soccer team. I was a promising youth player in the... So okay, yeah. Before I broke my leg, that is. Brandon, he seems to be telling the truth, claiming that everyone in town can vouch for him. A single instance of disagreement will render his comment null. It's a pretty small town too. It wouldn't take long to corroborate his story. I go. That's a bit... I go. Uh-huh. See ya, kiddo. The town hall is closed on Sunday, so you can try again tomorrow. Path in the woods. There's a path leading into the woods from the side of town. Look carefully at the images on the screen and identify four differences. Spot all the differences to solve the minigame. Click the mouse over them to find the clue and eliminate it. Don't randomly click on the screen or you'll be penalised. After three errors, you'll three errors you'll fail the minigame. Well, that was easy. <coughs> what was that all about? This looks familiar. What do you mean? Look there, in the distance. It's... Oh, it's our hotel. Yes, this trail probably connects the hotel to the town. So in theory, someone could have used it to get to the hotel undetected. Undetected? Convenient, isn't it? There's no need to use man-made modes of transportation. All you have to re rely on are your feet. That's true. Good catch. A new clue. Big wooden bridge. The wooden bridge on the outskirts of the town is old and rickety. With every creak, you worry about the possibility of being blown over by the gust of wind. As you cross the bridge, you chance a glance at the watery chasm below. What's up? Oh, it's nothing important. Silly, even. I was thinking it'd be scary to fall into the river. Yeah, even the strongest swimmer would struggle with their current this strong. <coughs> Alright, so we've checked everywhere. Oh, the hospital! You enter the hospital. What do you want to do here? Ask if an injured werewolf would... Eh, ask if an injured werewolf was hospitalised. Don't be ridiculous. We can ask if they saw anything suspicious. You sure that's a good idea? I doubt the cops missed something as basic asking the hospital staff. Despite your best efforts, nobody with a leg, with a leg, with a leg, leg. Go. I keep going to say leg and injury. Leg injury or big cuts was checked into the hospital recently. Uh, our house. We haven't found much so far. Or well, at least we're getting used to the town. Uh, let's try this again. I guess we just take a break. I'm tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. Yes, me too. Let's take a break for a few hours. Ooh. -hoo. Well, what hour is it? Damn, it's almost dinner time. I overslept. Why didn't he wake me up? Oh, uh, he's probably still sleeping.
Hello? Brandon, are you alright? Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, look at that tire, my bad, I was pretty beat. Don't worry, I just woke up a minute ago myself. Any news? I was about to call Lucas, the results should be ready by now. I'm going to change into something, into something, I'm going to change to something more appropriate. You should do the same, it's almost dinner time. I'll see you in half an hour then. Brandon, cell phone rings. Yes? Lucas? Ah uh, yes, I see. Thank you for keeping us informed. So what did he say? That the blood belongs to a human being and the fur is fake. What? I can't say I'm surprised. You don't need scientific evidence to prove that. But it's nice to have my suspicions confirmed. So it was a guy in a costume. That the blood belongs to a human and the fur. What the hell? Oh, oh, I can scroll the mouse to go back and forth. Okay. New clue added. Another day officially passes by. Day three. 